Romeo is here again with another good and beautiful story. This story, which I call an open door for Miss Hopeful, is about a young lady, Miss Hopeful, who went off to college at Ashland, Oregon. Miss Hopeful was blessed with a nice roommate from church during her several years stay at Ashland. In those long ago days, there were regular singles activities in the church, and Miss Hopeful enjoyed attending them. Winter of 1988, Miss Hopeful met a witty fellow by the name of James Hansen at a Seattle area winter weekend. James was from Spokane. Miss Hopeful commenced an entertaining correspondence with Mr. Hansen during spring break of 1989. Miss Hopeful visited the Hansen family at Spokane and came to adore his family. As Miss Hopeful anticipated graduating that year, she thought Spokane might be a nice place to move after graduating. After all, Spokane was one of those cities where God placed his name as a feast of tabernacle site. Miss Hopeful camped on the Hansen family couch for a couple weeks and ultimately became discouraged looking for a job, so she returned to the Dallas to her grandparents' house. This first scene occurs at the Rockford Grange at Sabbath Services. Sabbath after she returned to the Dallas. Hello, Miss Hopeful. It is nice to see you. I thought you moved to Spokane. I tried to, but I became discouraged about finding a job there. I didn't have enough money for a long stay, and it got a little old staying at the Hansons on their couch. I see. Well, it might make, it might sound trivial, but you know what they say, when one door closes, another opens. I'm grateful to be staying at my grandpa's house at the moment. By the way, a couple of my friends are visiting here today from Seattle area, Mr. Zink and his sister. We enjoy Western dancing and they came down to spend Sabbath with me and go out dancing after Sabbath. Look here, comes Miss Sink. Now, let me introduce you. Hello, Miss Sink. I'd like you to meet Miss Hopeful, who recently graduated college. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Well, it looks like church is about to start. I'd like to chat some more after church. Miss Chestnut was an elderly lady at her river who had a very bright countenance. This next scene takes place at her house that Sabbath after church. It is so nice to be able to join Mrs. Chestnut's hospitality today. I am glad we have a chance to talk some more. You say your degree is in computer science? Well, there is a lot of computer activity in Seattle. I recently returned from Spokane where I spent some time looking for a job and I'm not sure what I will do now. I have a couple empty bedrooms at my house at Kent, Washington, which is south of Seattle, a short distance. If you wanted to come and stay for a couple months, you would be welcome to. That sounds nice, but I don't have a lot of money. I wouldn't expect much, and there is a lot of yard work. I'd be happy to put any work you did toward rent. Thank you. I'll think about this and let you know. Miss Hopeful accepted Miss Sink's offer and within weeks moved to Kent. Over the next few weeks, Miss Hopeful found a job and ended up spending several months at Mrs. Zink's house before moving into an apartment with another single gal she met at church. Over time, as in many ways, Miss Hopeful came to feel quite blessed in Seattle. Miss Hopeful came to appreciate in a very personal way Proverbs 16, 6, 9, where it says, A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. 